Hey everybody, welcome back to Clutch Situation. It has been a little while since I've posted, but today is a good day for me on a Sunday for me to update you on a sponsored video from Wingback here. And the pen that I'm going to be showcasing for you is the Wingback Brass Pen. And you know, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I have a bit of an aversion to weighty writing instruments. I will even go so far as if I want a really strong pencil to pay extra for titanium, knowing that titanium has an overall lower density than some of the other materials that mechanical pencils or pens typically come in. Uh, but I thought that here for wingback, I would take a chance on a weightier pencil and actually do a little bit of a test, if you will, to see what it was like to write with a pen made out of a weighter material, but with an overall shorter body length. And so that's going to be our approach here. Now, whether you're into metallurgy or not, I'm going to tell you the metallurgy of this situation because... You know, I'm a scientist and I'm interested in metal alloys and always have been. And so what makes brass different from other metal alloys? What is a metal alloy compared to pure metals on the periodic table? I've discussed this on the channel before, but gosh darn it, if you're watching this video, you are going to get a science lesson from me whether you want it or not. And so... Pure metals on the periodic table are made out of a single element. Examples would be iron. Iron's chemical symbol is Fe, coming from the Latin ferrous. Or, for example, another common, uh, what we would call post-transition metal on the periodic table uh, is aluminum, which aluminum it still exhibits all the properties of metals, but it exhibits them to a lower degree than some of the transition metals that are in the middle of the periodic table. So, um, copper, for example, is a transition metal, and copper is really good at conducting electricity, conducting heat, almost too good to the tune that many appliances that people have in their home will uh, potentially have aluminum wires in those appliances because if you conducted too much energy along those wires, you could end up starting a fire. And so sometimes it's in your best interest to not have copper wires in a material. Now, brass is uh, partially copper. Brass is approximately 60% copper and 40% zinc. People often get brass confused with bronze, which bronze is a combination of copper and tin. And we use bronze for bells because uh, the, the overall matrix of copper and tin atoms when they are arranged in bronze can make, make that nice ringing sound that you get from a bronze bell. Uh, and so this pen is brass, and for those of you who follow the channel will notice that this particular wingback pen looks very, very much like the wingback mechanical pencil as well, with uh, the key difference, of course, being that the top is this knurled section here, and just twisting the knurled section extends the pen. The very first thing that I did when I got this pen is to take out the cartridge that came with it, and I put a Fisher Space Pen cartridge in green in it, and you can see the writing in the background. This writing is from mid-December when I was scoring uh, final projects for my graduate students in teacher education. And I, I'm displaying this here with risk because I know one of the most favorite things for many of you to do is to comment on my handwriting. And I'm going to shock you here by saying that I don't care what your opinions of my handwriting are. Okay, but it's also not necessary for you to comment on my handwriting and the fact that some of you feel compelled to do that. Just, you know, I don't know, folks, it's like you can choose to be kind to people. Okay, like, like, you don't, you don't have to <laughs> comment on oh, uh, people's skills, you know. Um, so uh, I wanted to display this page, though, because what I did in preparation for reviewing this pen was to get serious about it, and I scored 30 graduate 
projects with which I limit myself to a half a page of feedback space on it because you know it's a lot to score in a short period of time and I would rather give a half a page of quality feedback than one page of useless feedback uh, so if you're a teacher in the audience you know that's that's something that you can also consider that um, you know asking people questions highlighting things that they do well um, is far better feedback than just writing good job and well done over and over and over again. And there are probably teachers in the audience who will say, I would never do that. And you actually do it. Okay. So, you know, it's always good to become a better professional to really question what your status is on certain things and what you're going to do to improve. So in addition to this, uh, having saying wing back on the side of it, let's see how close I can get it to the camera while where it will still focus and I'm not sure that I can get it close to the camera. And there we go. Okay, so it says wing back on one side. And then on the other side, it has my initials because you can get products from wing back engraved. So there we go, MRF. And, you know, I love that this, pens, this pen has the knurling at the bottom, which most pens tend not to have. And it's, it's not too sharp of a knurling which basically allowed for me to write with it for a very, very long time without putting any stress on my fingertips. And I have to say with regards to the writing experience overall that yes, even though brass is a dense metal alloy and is weightier than what one would expect from aluminum or titanium, since this is a shorter pen than most pens, the weight was not an issue for me. And so I'm happy to report that. And so, uh, let's just go ahead and do some writing with it. And I, you know, I'm not sure that I'm going to run down the rating scale on this because it's a mechanical pencil channel and I leave the rating for mechanical pencils. And, you know, hopefully those of you in the pen world who like pens can check out what's going on with this thing and, you know, make your, your judgments on my own. I mean, nobody in the audience ever needs me to make a judgment for them. That's something that I try to frequently emphasize in the comments that it's like, okay, here's what I like about it. Here's what I don't like about it. What do you like about pens and pencils? Folks, you don't need somebody else to make decisions for you. So this is the Wingback Brass Pen. And so we got knurling here down where the grip is. We got knurling to make it easier. I found that it was very easy to extend and retract this pen just with a single hand, which that's another aspect of the shorter feature of this. That is uh, the shorter length of this, I should say, that I really, really like that, you know, on a normal pen, you wouldn't, you, it would be really difficult to get up there if the, if the extension mechanism mechanism is up there but that's just a very simple thing that can be done with the overall body length that allows you to very easily change the extension of the cartridge without needing to use your other hand and so if your other hand is occupied flipping papers or something like that and you want to keep this pen close so you don't mark up your hand or mark up your clothes or mark up a piece of paper in ways that you don't want uh this is really useful in that regard and so this is uh manufactured in london uh uk by wingback it goes for 95 gbp Okay, which this is an expensive pen, but it's an expensive pen that you're going to have for a lifetime. Okay, and I know that that price is summing out, but there are some of you who love to uh, collect writing instruments and you put more of your adult money into things like this. And so if it helps the, you know, if it helps you, great. Um, if this is an example of a pen that is out of your price range, I respect that. Um, maybe if anything, that there are features here, this discussion that, that, uh, helped you to think about, uh, more affordable versions of this or something that you might want to invest in because there are metal alloy pen products aplenty out there now. And so, you know, keep that in mind. And so I've really enjoyed writing with the wingback in brass pen. Um, I would say that it really surprised me that because of the length of the pen being shorter than 
normal, uh, weight was not an issue for me. And that really did surprise me. And so happy to share that with everybody in the audience. Thanks for watching uh, Clutch Situation. I will have more mechanical pencils coming up on the channel really soon. I have uh, some cheaper products. I have some more expensive products. I want to make sure that all viewers have something that they are interested in. And as mechanical pencils are released, you know, if you see that a mechanical pencil has been released and you haven't heard me speak about it yet on the channel, drop a comment below. Okay. Um, I do read comments. I read them when I have time and we are still in the middle of pandemic teaching here. And, um, so go ahead and leave a comment. Um, I don't get a chance to respond to all comments, but I do read a lot of comments. And uh, it would also help for those of you who are in the know, if somebody asks a question uh, in the comment section and I'm not able to get to it, if you could respond to that person so we could help them out, I would really appreciate that. But uh, hopefully once this school year is over, I'll have a lot more time to dedicate to Clutch Situation. Um, I don't have any plans to get rid of the channel or to stop doing it. Um, it you know, life intercedes. And uh, I, once my life calms down a little bit, I want to produce much more content for the channel. So thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a good weekend and a good week ahead. And thanks.